Hey everybody! It's Electric Rage here. Welcome back to more Fossil Fighters. Ugh. Last episode we got to this secret island. And we learned even more about the Dinorians. Oh, that that music is loud. <clears throat> So in this part, we're gonna explore what's in this room. Because I know this is an important room. Just past this door is the starship's main control room. I don't know what we'll find in there. If you don't feel ready, you might want to go prepare. Or would you like to go in the control room now? Sure, Duna, let's go. Alright. I'm glad to have you with me right now, Madison. Me too, Duna. Let's go. Me and Duna be close friends. What the hell? That's a stone sleep device. Why would it be pulled out here like this? Wait, this isn't a Dinorian. That's a human? Yeah, that looks oddly human shaped. It looks like a freaking. Looks like someone got baked in an oven. <laughs> How did a human come to be in stone sleep? Hold on, Madison. May I borrow your sonar system? I can't imagine how, but it looks like this human is carrying the last idol fragment. We should bring the stone human back to the fossil center for analysis. Not so fast. Wrapped in! Oh god, it's wrapped in. So it's true, Duna. You've betrayed the Dinorians, your own people. Now back away. Once I get that core component, we'll be able to reassemble the sub idol comp. I won't allow you to take the core component. I won't allow you to hurt the humans, to hurt Madison. You've let yourself be tainted by human weakness. You used to be better than they are, Duna. Pathetic. If you won't see reason, I'll just have to annihilate both of you. Combat holography systems on! Battle mode engage! Oh god, we're fighting Rafton. He has himself and two dynamotons. I don't know why the screen glitched. Apparently my tablet does not like Rafton. Oh god, the ranks are getting up there. He's a rank 8. And you do not want him in the SZ. So we're gonna need Karchar. Because, I mean, look at him. And I'm going to need my stats up. Alright, Rafton. Let's go. This fight is hard as hell, by the way. The Duna fight almost ended badly. So, uh, coward. Freaking swaps. Stupid. Oh god, we can't let Tro die. We cannot let Tro die. The only reason why my stats are boosted. Forget him, Karchar. 264s. Nice. Oh shit. I hate that. I hate that team. I hate that team skill so freaking much. It's literally called Death Ray because you'll probably blow up and die if you get hit by it. Just keep biting him. What do you mean? 30. Ooh, I don't know if I want to kill it yet or not, because... Um, the FP gain could freaking not... Well, luckily if I kill it, it can't use a team skill. Sure. We'll just try. Okay. The Dynamaton is dead. He can't use his team skills, luckily. That freaking picture of Rafton, he looks so pissed. 
Heartless Fury Trail. Of course you did. Of course you did. That didn't do very much. Oh god, Reaper's Wrath. Not gonna do very much, but it's gonna poison me. And he's gonna stay there, because, you know, those stats... Ugh, look at my stats. Let's just attack the Dynamaton for now. Be a waste to hit Rapton, because he's in the other place. I really wish you can put freaking Vivisaurs from the SZ into the, um, the EZ. But Tro's dead right now. No, he's not? Wow. Wow. Rapton looks cool. I don't care what anybody says. Rapton is a raptor. Hence his name. <laughs> okay. Tro's obviously gonna die next turn, and Rapton is staying in the SZ because he wants my stats lowered. Because he's a jerk. Let's just get rid of the Dynamaton. This is because this is getting really close, because you know, because Rapton can just annihilate me at any second. Karchar might die, Tro might die. So yeah. Oh, uh, should I? Yeah. I'm just gonna do this. He can kill Tro, I don't freaking care. Kill him. Yep. Dinorians are neat. I still don't know how the hell they can transform into dinosaurs. Like, that's still cool, though. Wish I can do that. Good, he's enraged. Now stay like that. Reaper's Wrath. It's gonna attempt to poison me. And it missed. Good. This is just like the Duna battle. It's very freaking close. Alright. Karchar Fury. Can you do 199 damage? Please do it, Karchar. So close! But he's enraged though, so luckily this won't hurt. It hits. Of course it did. Why not? But he's gonna die right now. You're dead, Raptin. Freaking jerk. Ha ha! For being a galactic crisis, I'm so good at freaking destroying the enemy. 15 points, wow! We are getting close to the end of this game. Like, it's like right around the corner. Alright, what does Raptin have to say? There must be some kind of mistake! I was in battle mode! You. You, you human! How could I lose to such a flawed organism? Well, you're the reason why I exist. You call this galactic crises. So you're basically yelling at your own creation. But I'm not flawed. Raptin, listen. Humans are different, but not any more flawed than Dinorians. They were born on this planet, and they've evolved into real intelligent life. The idea that Dinorians are the only worthwhile beings in the universe is narrow-minded, dangerous thinking. No! Humans were an accident! A side effect of our evolutionary experiments gone wrong! You don't befriend your mistakes. You learn how not to make them again and start over from scratch! No matter how you fight against it, you can't stop the inevitable doom of humankind. No creature as flawed as that can survive for long! Good, he's gone. One day, Raptin. I hope both you and King Dino will be able to see past your own DNA. There are probably other Dinorians on the way. 
Let's get back to the fossil center with the stone human. To revive the last fragment, we'll need to revive this human. Oh, c come on! I don't want to know! Since this equipment is based on Dinorian technology, I'm confident that I can operate it. Unfortunately, the stone sleep device wasn't calibrated for human use, so this specimen is... unusual. Looks like there's an extra coating of stone that we'll need to remove. Madison, you're the most skilled fossil cleaner here. Would you clean the stone human? Yeah, sure thing, Duna. Oh, well, let, let, me, let me move that for you. Yeah, someone draw me and Duna right now. Me and her being best buddies. It's a thing. Now, you gotta be really freaking careful on this, because any mistake will cost you. This guy looks eerily familiar. The spiky hair. Yeah. The spiky hair, and the way his diary notes sound, it gives it away. Also, wait a minute. If this thing is human-sized, how the frick does it fit on the table? Never mind. There's no logic in this game. The plot went out the window with the introduction of the Dinorians, so whatever. Alright, here's a stone human. he's in. He's like... It's like a Yu-Gi-Oh pose or something. Dr. Diggins! Oh my god, look at that outfit. <laughs> the freaking music! Dr. Diggins? Of course! He was sent back in time to the Jurassic period. Ugh. Madison and Duna? And this? This is the Fossil Center. I'm back. I'm back in my proper time period. <laughs> oh, what a freaking fool. This is like waking up from a nightmare. I went from the starship to the Jurassic period in an instant. I was sure I would die there. Long before I even been born. But then I remembered. I remember the crashed spaceship that only Mr. Richmond and I knew about. I hope desperately that I might find stone sleep technology inside the ship. So I set out to find the ship. It was a long and extremely difficult journey. Yes, we can tell by looking at you. First, I ran into a hungry Tyrannosaurus to scoop me up in his mouth and... I would love to hear about your adventures some other time. For now... Let's concentrate on the idol fragment. Oh, right. I've got it. I held on to it tightly the whole time. Yes! Madison, would you take that over to Mr. Richmond? I'll be right over here after I explain everything to Dr. Diggins. Okay. Now, before we continue with the plot, let me just clean these fossils, okay? Okay, that's everything all done. Now let's go to the Richmond building. Alright, let's go back into the blue void. I love that. It's just blue void. Hi Rosie, what's up? Welcome back, Masson. I think I finally kicked my mouse transformation habit. That's a habit? I didn't know people had a habit to turn into mice, but whatever. So, do we have all the idol fragments now? 
Yes, and I showed Rosie a fairy from Zelda. <laughs> That's great! You beat the Dinorians to all of them. Let's give it to Grandpa so he can hide it away where nobody will find it. Hey, Grandpa. Madison got the last fragment. Great news, huh? Great news indeed. Not that we ever had any doubt, we'll get, uh, uh, doubt about Madison's abilities. Now, can I ask you to assemble all the parts back into the complete subvital comp? Wait, if you're gonna hide it, why would you need to have it assembled? Because we, uh, won't know if, if there are any missing pieces until we assemble it. Yes, that's it. Something seems a little sussy here. And no, this is not an Among Us joke. I just like saying the word sussy. Okay, I guess you're right, but... Hi, friend, I'm in the middle of a video. I'll get to that in a second. Ah, I almost dropped my freaking thing. Okay. Okay, Mashin, let's assemble the fragments. <laughs> She's like, what is this? How the hell did we assemble it that fast? Yay, the idol's back together with all no missing pieces. We found all of them. Are you certain? Let me see. Looks like something from Nintendo. Still. Excellent. You did a good job for mammals. The auto repair functionality will do its work and fully restore this sub idol comp in no time. And then we'll finally be able to complete brother complete Project Mother Planet as intended. More <laughs> Grandpa, what are you talking about? Rosie Madison back already? Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Grandpa, there are two of you? Humans, you have my thanks for reassembling the sub idol comp. I won't need this disguise anymore. Dinal! A Dinorian! No, not merely a Dinorian. I am Dinal, king of all Dinorians. I very much appreciate all your hard work collecting the pieces of the idol comp system. Your efforts will make the doom of your entire species possible. Now I must return to the main idol comp. Not if I can help it, hand over that idol! Ah, I can't move! Fiend, what have you done to my precious granddaughter? Ah, I can't move either! <laughs> Getting blasted an infinite amount of times! <laughs> Humans, your end draws very near. You have no more tricks, no more daring feasts. Enjoy your last few moments as multicellular life forms. Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. Dinal took the damn idol. <sighs> of course, of course. Never can be that easy, can it? Madison, get off your Dinal, quick! Get the idol back! Go, hurry! Uh, yeah, about that. We will be doing that in the next episode, okay? Because the next episode is going to be a big one, okay? It's going to be really big. Because the main story is, like, almost over. So, yeah. I hope you guys are excited for the, the pre-finale. Because we still got to do all the side quests. I'm calling it the pre-finale because the story is going to be over soon. We still got stuff to do afterward. Okay. Electric Rage, signing out. See you next time.